I work on the wild killer whales in the Pacific Northwest, the endangered southern resident killer whales, which are a highly contaminated group of whales. And um, this contamination is a huge risk factor. Looking at the transfer of contaminants during the lactation process from the female to her calf, one of the key factors that we're missing is what is the offload from the mom to the calf during lactation. What percent of each of the contaminants that we look at are offloaded? And we can't get that through the wild whale. So we're looking at that here and the whales at SeaWorld so that we can actually quantify that percent offload and actually populate those models with better data. Our role in the study is really to procure samples um, for the study of looking at contaminant transfer from mom to calf. That involves a uh, blood sample, milk sample, and a blubber measurement with ultrasound. This is a great opportunity for us to collaborate with researchers that are focusing on wild populations. It gives us a sense of purpose uh, to help with these studies because we know we have an effect on our oceans and to what effect we are still learning. And that's the crazy thing is we have so much to learn from our animals. And by having animals in our care, we're able to actually help that effort and, and actually learn from our animals so that we can ha actually help wild populations. The reason why this research project is so incredibly important to all of us here at SeaWorld is that because of our relationships with Kalia and now starting with Amaya, we're able to get the information that we need from her and her calf, transfer this over to the researchers in the wild so that we can ascertain how these toxins are being transferred. Having access to animals in which, for this study in particular, the reproductive history is known for sure, and we know what kind of food they're getting, and we can test the food that they're actually eating is really important. You can't really get that in the wild.